Hey guys, so I found this video on my uh, hard drive. Uh, this is from uh, this last winter. Um, anyway, it was like 46 gigs of video from a GoPro that I shot. Um, this video right here is SOB, um, yeah, it's son of a bitch. This is a double black at uh, AOAA. So basically this is um, one of the borderline um, trails that uh, um, would be borderline um, red. Um, it's not a red trail, definitely, it's a black trail. Um, but it is one of the, the harder black trails, I would say. Um, and we are doing it backwards, meaning that uh, normally people go up the mountain and we are doing it going down the mountain. Um, and like I've said before in probably other videos and stuff uh, a couple times, um, you know, when you pick the trails, um, if you can go down the mountain instead of up the mountain, um, it'll make the trail easier, unless you want it to be harder. And then, uh, you know, plan to go up the mountain. So we decided to do this um, difficult trail but we decided to do it um, going down the mountain to make it a little bit easier. Um, and that's Jason Staples' um, former Jeep that he used to have, um, and now that is um, parts that uh, are on Baham Bree's um, um, competition uh, Jeep that uh, um, Georgianne uses in the um, competitions. So anyway, um, this is SOB itself. I sped it up um, four times the speed because I didn't think anybody wanted to watch like the two hours of video. Um, I cut it down as much as I could. I cut it down to like 50 minutes um, and then I compressed it um, with speed down to just um, the 12 minutes. So anyway, this is um, SOB um, and you know, some people haven't had the opportunity to go on SOB because it's a little bit of a, a more challenging trail. And you'll see that sometimes we have um, ropes and stuff out where we have to actually winch a couple times. So I'm on um, 35 inch tires um, in this video. I don't have my 40s at this point. Um, but I do still do have the 4 inch lift. Um, Rubicon Hard Rock um, with a winch and uh, that's Jason Staples there um, in, the, in the orange and it's winter time obviously because um, we're all uh, um, bundled up. I can probably look on the web to figure out when. This was um, the same weekend that they were doing a buggy competition event um, trying to basically um, get the buggies to go through one of the reds and if I remember right none of the buggies actually made it through the reds um, they made it like 80 percent of the way through and then they all like basically bugged out um, even with um, everybody there that knew what they're doing um, the reds were just killer so you'll see um, because this is a black trail um, it's very much unlike the the green trail where people are just like driving non-stop this is more like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Um, you literally, you go maybe 100 feet and then you stop and you get out and you look around and then you go 100 feet and then you stop and then you look around. And you know, every 100 feet you keep asking yourself, you kind of like, why did I like go on this trail? <laughs> um, it's, it's not that bad, but still, um, it's just like kind of like one problem after another problem after another problem. Um, either you're, you're stuck on one thing or stuck on another thing. And uh, the one thing about uh, um, AOAA, and uh, you probably can tell this right now, which is by looking, it's like, where's the trail? You're just like looking. You'll see the little orange things hanging down um, kind of randomly. The orange things are the indicators of where the trail is usually. So if you see those orange things and you know that you're, you're near the trail, <laughs> They try to put them on the on the trees. Um, oh, earlier in the video and even later in the video, you'll see that we are tearing down uh, um, caution tape. We are totally not breaking the rules. Like you are completely not supposed to tear down Tosh caution tape like at AOAA. Um, however, in this specific case, we were given permission to open the trail. Okay, and so the story goes: um, there were killer bees on this trail. Like not kidding at all. And uh, apparently there were killer bees and people fled for their lives or something like that. And AOAA roped off this whole section and uh, they left the whole, the whole trail system here of this um, double black closed for like a couple months for the killer bees to go away and for winter to come. And then, um, you know, we said that we wanted to do the trail and they said it was okay. And they said to just go ahead and just um, tear the tape down because like it was like not applicable anymore. Um, so yeah, like we were told from God, we're um, Dave, um, that uh, it would be okay for us to do this trail. So um, we weren't like trespassing or any, anything crazy. Um, so there's Jason there on the left. Um, the Cherokee on the right that was with us, if I remember right, and I think it's Daniel, if, um, hopefully I didn't get the name wrong. wrong. Um, anyway, um, halfway down the trail, he breaks his axle and uh, you'll see that he just sort of like disappears and that kind of thing kind of happens usually when you're uh, on these harder trails. Um, and when I say he disappeared, he just kind of like bugged out and uh, um, decided to just 
forge his own trail and um, get to the main road and and uh, he was just so frustrated um, he just like left that that thing happens it does um, you know you can be very very frustrating to um, to spend all this time on a trail and then just you know have a have a part break so the right side where Jason is is way more difficult and the left side where I am is just a hair easier I thought so that's why I'm kind of going this path to the left and he's going to the path to the right um, but that's a good thing about um, some trails it's kind of like you um, you pick your own poison there's nothing um, wrong per se with um, taking a little bit easier route um, especially on like a double black I mean um, but that's that's what uh, um, why we're going this way and he's going that way but the trail all kind of goes together um, and you might be wondering, you know, if you have been to AOA, where's the gatekeeper? Like, why haven't you seen the gatekeeper yet in this video? If um, if this is, um, you know, um, SOB, you'll see the gatekeeper at the end. Like I said, we're going down the trail. We're not going up it. Um, so you're seeing, um, unless you've taken this trail before, um, you're seeing scenery that you've never seen before, probably. Um, but you'll see the gatekeeper uh, in four or five minutes um, near the end. That's the um, the gatekeeper is the most commonly seen area um, AOA where people like drive by it and they and they kind of ask themselves like why would anybody ever consider going up or down that thing because the gatekeeper looks kind of nasty. You'll see um, the pictures um, because this is a GoPro um, don't really um, show off like how intense like this place is. But if you look over there, you can see Jason Staples Jeep. Um, the rocks are like at his door, <laughs> like they're bigger than his tires. So, I mean, when you're navigating over rocks that are, that are bigger than your tires, um, that, that usually is an indicator that, it, that it's um, kind of tough. So, he's... So, this is like walking around uh, kind of strangely. This is um, part of the difference between a, a green and a black. Um, on greens, you normally, you know, are just kind of driving and cruising the whole time and, and relaxing. On uh, the blacks, um, typically, there's a lot more downtime. Where people are, are walking around trying to um, help each other out because, like, pretty much like everybody is is getting stuck, um, and that's that's what's going on. There's somebody behind me probably that's stuck, and uh, you know we'll get moving along in just a second or two. Um, I was going to cut this out of the video, uh, but I think it's only for like another ten seconds, and then I start moving. Yeah. Um, so anyway. He's walking back to his Jeep, and I'm going to get moving again. And you can see how much of a tilt there is um, with the, the, like, the entire front of the Jeep compared to the rocks. Um, that, that'll give you a clear indication of how big the obstacles are that uh, you know we're going over. And obviously, if you see me backing up, that means that I'm getting stuck and uh, having to back up to, um, to get onto a different obstacle, a different um, line, as they call it. Yeah, I don't know how old this video is. Um, I'm trying to think back of when we did this event. It might this video might be over a year old, um, but it was taking up 46 gig on my hard drive, and I wanted to get it up on YouTube, and so um, I just, just decided just to um, to edit it up real quick, and uh, um, so people could see SOB since I happen to have the, like the footage from when we were on SOB, and then uh, um, we'd be able to reclaim that uh, that space on my hard drive. So I don't know um, if you know who Jason Staples is. Jason Staples is part of the, um, the Outcast Crawlers. So um, they uh, cut a lot of the red trails, like the really, really um, intense trails at AOAA and, and some other parks like um, Chaos. I went with them to Chaos to help them cut some trails. Um, he also helps out with the x Rocks competitions, which is um, the professional competitions where they're uh, um, you know, going off these like cliff faces and stuff that's like ridiculously like stupid uh it's not stupid to them but i mean to me like when i see it i'm like oh my god like what are these people doing like like ridiculous like sick uh competitions and uh, jason is one of the um the guys that helps out with the trails and everything trail cutting and stuff uh um so there, there's a lot of trails out there that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that uh um, for jason
once again, I mean, a lot of these um, kind of pictures and, and the rocks, they look a lot smaller than uh, they actually are. Um, and they, like I was trying to say, like the clear indicators, if you see like how much the Jeep, the front of the Jeep like moves up or down, um, or like how it's tilting to an angle, that will give you like a kind of indicator that um, how like big the stuff is. And the fact that like these trees are basically just touching the side of the Jeep just about, um, you know, kind of let you know like how narrow this is. So this was shot with a, um, a GoPro Hero 2. I think it was like maybe one. It, this is one of the really, really um, old Go, GoPros, um, and you can see um, how like the front of the Jeep looks kind of like triangular. Base. Oh, I hit a tree. Um, basically, um, what I'm just saying is like the camera. You can tell from the camera this is one of the older um, GoPros that I used to film this with. And so obviously I hit that tree. So I guess that uh, yeah, there I am right there. I'm looking to figure out how do I uh, how do I get around this without uh, running into the tree and and this is like the the kind of like what you see uh, you know over and over and over again um, in these in uh, you know when you're doing blacks and reds and stuff um, you have to help each other out you know you have to to get out there and it doesn't even matter um, how big your jeep is. Um, you know, somebody has to get in front of you and spot you, or you, or you have to get out and have them drive, and you know, while you spot, because you can't always see um, the obstacles that are out underneath you. So we're getting near the end of the video. There is a gatekeeper right there. I think I came down the right side right here, um, where that yellow tape is, and there is a gatekeeper. You can see the rest of the crew coming down the gatekeeper right there um, to SOB. Um, so they've made changes to this trail um, since I shot this. There are now these big giant black banners on the right and left side of the trail, um, kind of where the little yellow thing is hanging, all the way over to the right, blocking um, the bypass that I took to get off off the trail, um, because I didn't want to go through that little can opener section of the the gatekeeper um, for SOB. And if you can see, like the rocks are basically the size of the jeep. So now we're going to head over um, to the competition and see how they're doing now that we're done with um, SOB. Uh, but there is SOB right there. Um, this is the, the part of SOB that people see all the time when you, when you uh, uh, drive by it. 